As well as adding textures to your project, you can add lighting effects and shadows to enhance your presentations. You can edit the lights by going to the 3D menu and clicking here, or in the top menu over here. You can now edit your lighting in the properties menu. Polyboard defaults to three lights. General, which is an ambient light. Light 1, directional, which mimics the sun and comes in from an angle and a point which is a sphere and shines light universally from it. These lights generate shadows. We can see those if we click in the Quick Design 3D toolbar here. Let's open the doors as well. So you can change the colour of the light. We recommend sticking with different shades of grey. If you pick any other colours you'll end up with a colour cast which doesn't look that nice. Let's go back to General and in the ambient light colour, let's select a lighter grey. You'll see that the impact that has is to soften the shadows. Let's now select our directional light, light 1. We can change its angle here, down, up again, and we can move it across to change the positions of the shadows which have moved as we've moved the directional light. You can also move the point but in a slightly different way with X, Y and Z coordinates. So we can move it down and across as well with the X and Y coordinates. There are different settings you can use here, attenuation and in general we've got this mesh option. These allow you to fine tune the nature of the light but really you don't need to alter these very much. Finally you can add and also delete lights. Let's add one it's come in as light 3, a point light. Let's change it to a spot, a new type of light. And change the colour slightly. So here we've seen with this arrow we've got a spotlight. Let's move it down slightly out of the way of the other light. As it gets closer to the floor you can see the light becoming tighter. Just move it slightly out of the way of that cupboard so we can see it better. So again you've got all sorts of extra options here. You can change the angle of the spot um, and its diameter. Spot's a nice one to use if you've got raised kitchen cabinets for example and you want to mimic a spotlight shining down onto your worktop. And just before we finish here's a look at one of our quick design models, the walk-in wardrobe with some nice lighting effects included. Thanks very much for watching, goodbye.